So in this video, we're going to look at trying to find the angle between two vectors. In this case, we've got i plus j and 2i plus 4j. So let's draw a diagram first so we can visualize what's going on. So um, if I draw in uh, an x-axis, just so we can kind of have a frame of reference, then i plus j will be 1 along, 1 up. OK, so 1 along, 1 up. Then we've got 2i plus 4j. So 2i, so 1 along, 1 along, so 2 along, 1, 2, 3, 4 up. OK, let's use the root on that one. OK, so this one is 2 along and 4 up. OK, so we've got i plus j and 2i plus 4j. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call that point A and that point B. OK? Now, there are two possible routes through to find the required angle, so that angle there between the two vectors. OK? Now, one possible route through, well, there's two possible routes through that we can do with the current skills that we have. The other route through to find the angle between two vectors um, is to use the uh, scalar product or dot product, uh, which we don't actually cover in this course. OK? Um, so that would be the general method. I'm going to show you uh, a method for two dimension two-dimensional vectors here, and also a secondary method uh, which will work for three-dimensional vectors as well, because this two-dimensional one uh, that I'm just about to show will not work for 3D vectors, okay? But will work in 2D cases. So, um, the first method uh, is probably the most straightforward. What I want you to think about and imagine is that what we've got are two right-angled triangles, okay? So actually what I can do is I can work out the angle of that small triangle there, okay? So that's the right-angled triangle in itself. I can work out that angle. Let's call that one uh, alpha, okay? So alpha is going to be equal to, well, using Sokotoa, it'll be equal to the inverse tan of the opposite over the adjacent. OK, so alpha equals inverse tan of 1 over 1 should be 45 degrees. There we are. So that's the angle for the small triangle. For the larger triangle, OK, Let's call that one beta. So let's go back alpha for the moment. That big angle can be beta. So beta is equal to, well, inverse tan of the opposite, so 4, over the adjacent, 2. So inverse tan of 4 over 2 is 63.4 degrees to 3 sig fig. So the angle that we want, this theta, is equal to the larger angle, beta, take away the smaller angle, alpha. So 63.4, take away 45, and we get 18.4 degrees to 3 sig fig. Okay, so that is the easier way of the two. This will work for 2D vectors, um, regardless of the way that they are pointing, because you can always think about finding the angles required and then using your angle knowledge of, point, of angles around a point um, to find the angle required. As we're, and we're going to see some examples of that in the next video. However, um, this method um, Although great for 2D vectors, doesn't always work, uh, won't work for 3D vectors. And there is a method that will work for 2D and 3D. 
Okay, well, I'm going to show that to you now. So 18.4 is the answer that we've got previously. Okay, so we should be able to get the same result. Okay, so if I just uh, raise the evidence a little bit, okay, just so it's a little bit easier to work with. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to think about this as um, a triangle. So I'm going to draw on this side. Like so. Okay, and that's going to be the vector A to B. So I've got OA which is uh, the 2i plus 4j. I've got OB, okay, which was i plus j. And I've now got a new vector, AB. And I know how to calculate that. That's OB minus OA. And so we get um, i take away 2i, so that's minus i. And j take away 4j, so minus 3j. OK, so we've now got OA, OB, and AB. With those three vectors, I can now find the length of those three vectors, which will give me the length of the three sides of the triangle. So OA, the length of OA, will be the square root of 2 squared plus 4 squared, which will be root 20. Then we've got the length of OB, which is 1 squared plus 1 squared square rooted, which is root 2. And then we've got the length of AB, which is going to be the square root of 1 squared plus 3 squared, or minus 1 squared plus minus 3 squared, which is root 10. So we've now got the lengths of the three sides of the triangle. OK, so if I write those onto the diagram, we've got uh, this one as root 10, this one's root 2, and that one is root 20. And I want to find that angle there. So now, because I've got the three sides of the triangle, I can use the cosine rule. So cosine of the angle is equal to, well, We've got that side squared plus that side squared. Take away that side squared, the opposite side to the angle squared, divided by 2 times root 20 times root 2. OK, so then I can inverse cosine. Uh, this fraction, so 20 plus 2 take away 10 in the numerator, 2 times root 20 times root 2 in the denominator, and I get 18.4 degrees to 3 sig fig. Okay? Now, in examples of 2D uh, problems, uh, the original method that I showed you, just finding the two angles between for the triangles using inverse tan, subtracting one from the other. Some problems are a little bit more challenging to work with, um, but that got us 18.4 degrees quite easily. This one requires a bit more working uh, to use the cosine rule, but it is this method that you would have to make sure you are aware of a no in order to find the angle between two 3D vectors. Okay, um, So if you're just doing AS, uh, there are no 3D vectors on the spec for you. If you're doing full A-level, you need to know this method.